Try this one. <laughs> try all of them. Try this one. I'll try, I'll try. You try something. <laughs> Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David Spin here, coming at you from Northern Kerala, India. Today I'm very excited because it's my last day. I'm doing a road trip from Kanor all the way back down to Calicut and we're doing a breakfast food tour road trip. Basically we're having breakfast here in Teleseri, here at Bombay Hotel. Then we're gonna be having brunch at another spot about an hour away and then finally ending it in Calicut with lunch. I'm super excited, I'm very hungry, it's seven in the morning. Let's go inside the Bombay Hotel and eat some food. Woo. We are traveling from Kannur to Korikot and, and this time of morning, we will find many restaurants and this one is one of the best in Thalassery. Plenty of snacks, it's too early for us. So we'll have some morning breakfast and then we'll go ahead. We'll try string hoppers and I'm going to try string hoppers. What do you want? There's appam. There's also puri, there's paratha. So if you want string hoppers, we can try string hoppers and maybe egg curry. It's my last day in India, so I'm going with string hoppers and egg curry. Okay. Yeah, because the next place, we'll probably try a lot more stuff. Keep it light. <laughs> string hoppers with egg curry. String hoppers in the chai were so good, but I had to keep it light because we have another spot to hit up in about 45 minutes. Wow, good, good egg curry. That's the that's the other one, it's the chickpea, right? Wow. The total amount is 150 rupees. One? 180. 180. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right, we did it. Amazing string hoppers with egg curry and chai. Total price, 180. 180, which is basically like three US dollars for all three of us to eat string hoppers, egg curry, and chai. And he also got the chickpea curry. And then, just so you guys know, this place opened at seven in the morning until 10 p.m. No credit, obviously, always cash. In India, you always have to carry cash 
almost no place takes credit unless you go to like a you know a real hotel or like a super high-end restaurant so let's continue this road trip we have about one hour to the next spot you good everything good all right go we are traveling from Talaseri to Korikor on the way we will stop at Vadagara. Vadagara is a small town on the way and we'll have a brunch there. There's a restaurant called Emara restaurant that used to be very famous. I do not know how it is. I never tried food there but I got suggestions. People say that you should stop there and try. We're now passing Mahe, a union territory in India. Yesterday I visited this place. Basically because it's union territory, there's tax free and they sell alcohol. Came here, tried some brandy, saw the boardwalk, tons of wine shops, liquor shops all over the place. So if you're ever passing through here, you definitely stop here, try some brandy, some wine, some beer, but you can't take it out of the union territory. So you have to drink it here. Oh my god, traffic jam. After a 40 minute drive, we arrived at Baragara. Baragara. Baragara is the place name. MRA Bakery and Restaurant. MRA Bakery. Where is it? So this restaurant has been here since 1965 and it's right here on the main road. The road's right here. David, this is a bakery area and we are going to the restaurant. You want to try some cakes? I mean, they look good. Everything is coconut, right? Coconut? No. <laughs> Jaggery coconut? <laughs> you display like a lot Lots of sweets here. The cakes. What are these? Oh, these look amazing. These are like chocolate little rolls. Oh my god. That's like baklava. Yeah, that's all these circus, right? Some more cakes. And look at this. And here at the very back, we have the restaurant with all the snacks. Here we have some bada. Samosa. They are still making snacks. By noon, all these places will be free. If you want to try vada, samosa, alu bonda, egg bonda, if you want to try something, you can try. David, you tell me what all you need. Do you need vada? Yeah, vada. Uh, parambari? Always. <laughs> one or two? One, one. One. Samosa? Yeah. Egg bonda? There is an egg inside this. Okay. Potatoes bonda. Bread pakoda. Bread pakoda, okay. Bread pakoda. Plantain filled. Stuffed plantain. This is kalumaka. Mussels. Need two of those. Here we have the chai master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name? Sahir. Sahir. Yeah. You're gonna do two meter chai. Two meters. Whoa! David. Take. Take? Alright, the muscle for sure. Drop that. Uh, banana. You should try this one. Let's try that one over this one. The stuffed plantain. Ooh. Whoa. You should try this one. That one too? Wow. You should, you should try this one. <laughs> try all of them. Try this one. I'll try, I'll try. You try something. <laughs> this is chicken curry that we have. Okay. So you've never tried this before? Never tried it before this week. Okay. But with paramburi, I have tried duck roast. I'll take this, I'll take this, and I'll take... No, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so do I just start with this guy? Like a sandwich? Yeah. That is... Not sandwich, it's pakora. Bread pakora. Bread pakora. So basically, it's two pieces of bread, and then in the middle, you have like masala, onions, potatoes. So you have like a fried sandwich masala, which is called bread pakora. Yes. Let's take a bite? Yeah. Whoa. Nice crispy sandwich. Mm. Basically, like a bread sandwich. Mm -hmm. Doughy bread, like. Still very fluffy in the middle. Outside, very crispy. A little spicy too. Good. Mm -hmm. So, what you can do is just add a little bit of chicken curry on the top. Whoa. Okay. That's it. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> the chicken curry is like. So it's tomato based, but it's a little, little creamy. Great. Most probably maybe they must have added some. Should I break this one? Yeah. You can try planting, filled planting, okay. stuffed planting. So I'm trying paramburi. 
So you mix it with the curry. You try both of these. Mine's super sweet. Mm -hmm. Steam the plantain first. Okay, and they cut open, slit, and fill uh, coconut, sweet, whatever they want to do. Inside yeah, here. Inside. So I'm just gonna take a bite in the middle. Good. So sweet. Mm. Coconut, sugar, mixed. Oh, I love it. The coconut? Wow. I think they put some jaggedy, right? Yeah. It has to be. If you mix with curry, you won't get that real taste of that. Mmm. Mmm. So much coconuts here. I mean, for me, I just go in like this. <laughs> oh my god. The sweetness. It's like overload. It's almost a dessert because sweet filling and sweet outside. Because they cook it again after filling it. Okay. So the coconut and milk get caramelized. Oh wow. That's why that blend of taste with plantain. Super. One of the best banana dishes I've tried. Mm -hmm. So the mussels right here and the remaining is rice flour. So it's not stuffed into it. It's on the outside. Some people do it by stuffing, some people do it like this. On the outside, right? Yeah. Mm. Nice packed rice. Mm. Like a, like a sticky ball. Mm. Well, you're tasting the sea right there. Salty, good masala. Mm -hmm. But, don't eat one muscle. <laughs> Best thing to do is get the, you know, this rice, this packed rice. Let it absorb some of that curry. Just like that. Alubonda. You can open and see. Wow. So you have obviously aloo with potatoes. Uh, I think there's coriander in there. Some other spices. spices yeah. Onion. Maybe tomatoes. Okay. And carrot. This is a very soft ball. Not too crispy. Like very doughy. Mm. Nice spices. I think this is perfect for anybody that's a vegetarian, right? Yeah. And then you get over here. Then you are non vegetarian. And now you're not vegetarian. <laughs> See, if you mix if you mix anything that's veg with any curry that has been cooked with, you know, non veg chicken, yeah. chicken yeah. then it's not veg. Mm. Mm. It's very great. great. Yeah. I don't even touch my chicken yet. Mmm. That was organic chicken. With wow. this, oh. a bit of chai is good. Yeah. That too, magical tea. And this is it was called dancing chai. No, also, ma magic tea. Ah, yeah. Here yeah. they call it as magic tea. Magic tea? Okay. There, you went to Bombay Hotel. Yeah, and had dancing chai. That was dancing chai. Which is biryani chai. Yeah. Because of the layers, right? So you mix like that? Yeah. Mix. So, Mixed well. Yeah. Right. The sugar, the sugar, the chai, tea, the milk, milk, everything yeah. should get mixed. Perfect. Sweet, no? No, sweet. sweet. Super sweet. Uh -huh. Super sweet. Not too hot. We obviously let it sit there for like five minutes, so it wasn't like boiling. Mm. Another good chai. Yeah. What's crazy is that every single place, it's a little different, right? Yeah, but it's a full glass of chai. Usually chai is small. Yeah, it's half. Yeah. But this is full. Oh. You want only, chicken? No, no, only the gravy. On, on. on top? Yes. Like that, huh? Okay. Usually, as you said, vada is a vegetarian course. But now we have mixed with chicken curry. In some places here, we have idli with motor curry, that is egg roast. Oh wow. And idli with mutton curry. So pure veg with pure non veg. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so let's try this one. Do you should try it, brother? I'll try, I'll try. Okay. Oh! Mm. Oh yeah. What do you think? Mm. This one's not so crispy. Like, inside it is. It's soft, but outside it's crispy. Yeah. 
and again you mix it with curry so it's not going to remain crispy yeah I mean it absorbs it right yeah mm. hold on my friend thank you I think everything was delicious my favorite thing was definitely the stuffed plantain yeah yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, just the inside, the coconut. Uh, we haven't had that much like coconut that like coconut shaves. Mm -hmm. We haven't had it on much. A little, a little, a little yeah. but, but not like that. It's but almost like here. Yeah. This restaurant is pretty amazing. I mean, besides being a restaurant, bakery, you can try endless snacks that are not fried, more sweets. They do have breakfast as well, but we had our breakfast, so I thought, okay, let's go with snacks. Yeah. And then from here, we are going to Cori We will have detailed lunch, more proper probably. lunch. <laughs> And on the way, maybe we will stop somewhere else. Okay. Basically. Not for eating. I'm, I'm done. I can't eat anymore. <laughs> so the owner just brought me a cayu catelli. So I think this is coconut, right? Coconut? Cashew nuts. Cashew nuts only? Mm. It's good. Yeah. It's sweet. Today, I think they have a food market here. Bananas, grapes, oranges, apples, Pineapples, melons, limes. Though they call it as bananas, these are the plantains, the real plantains, and these are bananas. Okay? This is robusta, grapes, yeah, everything, almost everything, pineapples. And I think fruits, white fruits, they come. They also have like all the dates, yes, look, the dates and nuts. Dates are of okay. different varieties. Know, maybe some are from Saudi, some are from Dubai. The best one they say is this one, Ajwa. You want to try? So inside is a nut, right? Yeah. Mmm. It's a good day. Yeah, so this is all comes from the Middle East, right? Yeah. Mmm. Sticky. Chewy. Mm-hmm. I love this. Especially during Ramadan, you break the fast and you start the fast with this. Yeah. David, we are on the way to Kori Kod. We will take a small deviation here. We will go to Kapat Beach. There's the, there's the place where Vasco da Gama, the sailor, landed first time in India. And we arrived, Vasco da Gama Beach. In case you guys don't know who Vasco da Gama is, that was the first European to arrive in India via sea. He was Portuguese, he basically created the Cape Route, which was going from Europe, around Africa, all the way in the bottom, Cape of Good Hope, South Africa, made his way all the way over here and landed here in this area in 1498. After that, that was like the beginning of the spice trade via sea. Pretty incredible, right? And here we have like a rock pier. You have some fishing boats, a place to play some soccer. And that's it. I think there's a monument around here. We just don't know exactly where it is because it's a long, long beach. Whoa, look at this. It's hot. Fisherman boat. Nice. Woo! Basso de Gama. One of the most famous explorers in history. If you guys don't know about the three most famous, start with Alexander the Great, you got Vasco da Gama, and Christopher Columbus. Those three, they traveled the whole world. We found the monument. This is it. Vasco da Gama landed right here, 1498. It's called Capacadavu. Capacadavu. Okay, okay, awesome. So this is the monument. It's a big pillar. It looks just like a mini uh, tombstone cool we did it <laughs> so that was about Kapad beach now we are going to korikot korikot is almost 40 minutes drive from here let's see the road the train's gonna cross let's see it up close i love this all over corona i do this just stop and get really close to the trains oh here it comes here it comes <laughs> We are already in Calicut, so we are going to try some muscle biryani. Are ready for that? Muscle biryani? Yes. And build your muscle. So I've tried four biryani so far. Calicut biryani, Tessiti biryani, Kasargad wedding biryani, and I tried some uh, banana leaf egg biryani. This is going to be the muscle biryani. Wow, so diverse, no? Yeah. Lots of diversity here in terms of biryani. Muscle biryani. Oh, I love the muscles out here. Spicy. I don't think the muscle brand is gonna be spicy, but I'm sure we can also get some muscles on the side that are spicy. 
Oh, I can't get enough of it. Cannot. It's like Curly's mussels are the best. Super spicy, delicious. Mm. Let's go eat. You have never tried soda that again in Kerala? No. Lime soda? You should try. That's special because I love it. David, it's a small shop, but soda lime is special throughout Kerala. We love trying this because it's humid climate here. Try. Oh, salted. Super salt. Like you can try salted, sweet, and okay. And it tastes almost like the ocean. <laughs> With lime. Yeah. No, it's 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 hard to drink. I, I don't you know. the sweet end one? No, I'm good, I'm good. I'll drink it. Okay. It's fine. I mean, it is a little refreshing, but it's still very salty. Salty. It's salted, but I love it. Salted, but really I love it. Total price for the lime soda is 10 each. 10 rupees. I'm done. David, these are some of the Cody Gordon snacks. We tried some there. It's slightly different from those things. But, and you enjoyed uh, plantain field. A different version is here. It's known as Unakaya. If you want to try, you can try one of them. So this restaurant is actually three levels. The first level, really packed. Second level, this one we're in right now. The third level is closed at the moment. And yeah, I mean, it's a nice ambiance. We have to actually open the curtain so we can get some light in here. And here we have it. So we have, that's muscle biryani and this is Unakaya. We tried stuffed plantains there, stuffed mm -hmm. fried plantains. A different version of that. This is boiled plantains mashed into this shape. Okay. And then stuffed with coconut and sugar. Oh my god. Try this one. So straight in. Mm. That's delicious. Super sweet, delicious, love the coconut. Mmm. Also sweet plantain. So that's the Nakai, and this is nice pottery. Nice pottery. I've never, never tried, tried this. That? Yeah. You can take that and let me add some mutton chops. Mutton chops. Yeah. And so how am I going to do it? I'm going to roll it up? A little no. roti? No. Just mix it. Mix it. So it's going to be just like that. Yeah. Break. Break. Mix. And mm. Oh my god. The mutton is so buttery. Mmm. Oh, so good. And why it's not as nice for three? Because it's so nice. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll it up a little bit like, like this. Mm -hmm. like a little bit. Yeah. Mmm. It's basically like a light gravy. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. No. This feels almost like a bomb, but mm -hmm. different. Like softer, right? Even the making is different. But all of them are rice. They're all rice. So, ooh, they're spicy now. Feel it. Yeah, that's pepper. It's pepper. The spiciness of pepper. You'll get it slightly later. Yeah, but it's good. I feel like I rub my tongue. Yeah. So do I serve myself some muscle biryani? Hmm. I can go ahead with. It. Can't wait to try this. So muscle biryani. With the muscle. We start off with some mussels and some rice. Mm. Oh man, it's good. This is the most fishy, like seed tasting biryani I've had. Because of the mussels. Yeah, yeah. No, because the fish one I had the other day, like I had a you know, macro with it, mm -hmm. it wasn't like this. That one was super salty. This mm -hmm. is just more like the seed, you know? Do I add anything else to it? Yeah. Coconut chunni, you know? Salad. I guess I'm you gonna go salad? with that one. Yeah, you can try this one. This yeah, is cool. spicy. Good. So I'm gonna get a muscle a bit in there. Salt it. That's good. Mm. Nice pickles. I mean, it's not my favorite though. That one? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with this. Coconut chip. This is my favorite of all time. I think that's coconut plus mint. I think so. A little bit there. So you mix it. You mix it well. Blend it. Right? Because you don't want to just have a huge bite of coconut chutney. You want it to be with the rice. Like that. And then you grab it all. Just like that. 
Mm. Great combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Mint, mint, and coconut. <clears throat> wow. And not spicy at all. Whoa. Put the breath together. It gives the muscle a nice little, like, tropical feel. You know, you got the sea, you got the tropics, and you have non stop rice. Short grain rice. Mmm. This is spicy, really spicy. That's spicy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, but you like spice, so. I like, but not. Why not? All of it. <laughs> the total bill came out to 745 rupees. The muscle biryani cost 250 rupees. That's roughly three dollars and like 20 cents. We drove from Kanur all the way down to Cutty Cup. We stopped to have breakfast, had some string hoppers. Then we stopped and we had snacks mm -hmm. in, uh, what was the name of the town? Ba Baragara? Baragara? Mm -hmm. yeah. We had snacks there, tons of snacks, really good. My favorite thing there was a stuffed plantain. And then we came here and we tried muscle biryani. First time trying muscle biryani. And yeah, I mean, this is a very diverse food tour. Lots of different things along the way. You guys, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Subscribe to my friend. And we'll see you in the next travel adventure in Kerala. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm gonna try some more of this. Mm, so good. Oh yeah, this one there.